shot of the uh, yeah. third room anyway. If I am going to attempt to do what we had discussed the night previous, I may require to go on another journey yeah. with you, Colonel. Which will keep uh, me away from. I wanted to talk about uh, what the current issue is. Uh, Cyrus told me about the uh, dilemma we have. He did, did he? I asked him. I pressed him. There is no dilemma. Is there not? No, there is not. You mean to act on it or not? What if I never acted on something? What kind of a question is that? I mean, would you prefer not to let this chance slip, or would you prefer to take it easy and play it safe? That's the dilemma we're talking about. We've been playing it safe for two years. This is something that cannot be just let lie. No, I agree. I just wonder if there's a safer way to go about it. I'm just curious as to your thoughts going forward. I'm trying to provide counsel, that's all. Options are very limited. Hmm. I cannot pretend that I might have another chance of this. I can't pretend that Crenshaw will continue to survive on his own out there. I agree. In fact, the very last time that I ever tried to do this, that partner of Shilbrook's ensured that Haskell and I were ambushed so I do not even know if they know his face. Perhaps they know him, I don't know. But I can't pretend otherwise. And Cyrus's defeatist attitude is not going to be able to give us any sort of progress whatsoever. I agree. Lie low, be safe. That's what we've been doing for years, and nothing has come of it. Nothing. The only thing that's happened is we've been whittled down day by day. Whittled down. Okay, it's so... It's easy to forget I came here with over a hundred men. A move has to be made, I agree. Years ago. Then what is your question, boy? How do we make this move in the safest way possible, without giving away the opportunity? There's no safe way to go about it. It's a gamble. Mm -hmm. there's, there's no answer that I can give you that will be satisfactory. Either it's risked or it's not. It is left or right. No middle road. Of course there is. You don't have to be the one to go for one. That doesn't put you at risk. I'm not sending anyone else. Because he would not speak to anyone else. We could at least know if he's there. Then we know if then we can send you along or suss out to see if it's a trap or not. That's the problem, Kyla. The man is much older than when I saw him last. Even when we went to that small town searching for Crenshaw. We were only told he was there by name. We never got to speak with him. I would have to be able to see the mannerisms. Hear the voice. See the man. To figure it out for myself. No one can do that in my stead. I 
okay, then if it has to be you going, then we need to figure out how to protect you best in case something bad happens, right? That's reasonable. If something bad happens, the forces involved cannot be counted. You understand that? Elaborate further. Think. I feel like I'm on the right path, but... Let's play devil's advocate. Okay. Let's say that Crenshaw is compromised. Hmm. And that it's not actually even him. Perhaps it is a... goon of Victor's. Perhaps Victor is here. Perhaps it's just someone searching on their behalf. If I go there to figure this out and they find out who I am, they're going to be on us in seconds. You know how that man operates. Once you enter his trap, you're not getting out of it. Those ships, they're galleons. Each ship has 800 men on it. 128 of those cannons. It's a small army. Not to mention what's at the embassy. How do we know that they haven't arrived on these ships? We don't know anything. I have to be paranoid. I cannot not be paranoid. Of course. And that's just playing the point of why we need to do this carefully, right? Or find some way to navigate it that doesn't... Do you see... Do you understand why... What I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to do here. I understand what you're trying to say and do, my boy, I do. But this is not one of those situations where there is a safe middle ground. It's not like I can go to a meeting and have a retinue nearby to pull me out if things go south. Or I can have a, a line of crossbowmen in the tree line ready to react if I get ambushed. If I go there and it is Victor... Or someone attached to those hunting for me, it's over. There is no escape. And even if we get out of the town, and we manage to get on the road without them, probably by leaving our other friends behind, who will pay for our mistake. There's nowhere to go. We cannot go north, east, south, or west. We are trapped. But at the same time, it is truly you can't let this a opportunity of pass. Do or don't. Yeah. And that is why I'm arguing with Cyrus. Lying low does nothing for us if we avoid our goal. Mm. And if he's here asking for me, we don't know who heard him. We don't know who he asked. It got already be dead. It definitely got back to me and my people. So, there's nothing to the say. The only it. thing I'm gambling off of is no one has any fucking reason to be looking here for any of us. Mm. None whatsoever. We were very careful, covered our tracks well. And I hate to say this, but thankfully, the horrors that took place in Ireland would cover any trail we left behind. Don't know. Would you consider allowing me to go in secret, not to engage anyone or talk to anyone, but at least get a lay of the terrain? Of what terrain? I don't know where he is. Well, if there's, I don't know, a bunch of fucking Imperials waiting around, or it seems weird, or my spine fucking tingles in the wrong way, at least then we'd know something. What do you mean? I don't even know where the man is anymore. If he was at the Cross Keys Inn, he certainly wasn't there when I went there to sell a sword. No. There's not even anywhere where I would know to look. I wanted to go again, but Cyrus advised against it. Refused. Fool. The air isn't the only linchpin in this whole operation. You're one too. You think we can do this without you, then... We can't. 
If I was able to ask Sir Rister to go, I would, because he'd be able to recognize the man, but he's... The point is, there is no other option. I cannot stay in this cage forever. Just let me know what you want me to do to help, I guess. There is nothing you can do currently. If there was, I would have told you. Don't let that old fool's defeatist attitude rub off on you. No, I agree with you. that would be very interested in knowing what's happening here. Others that would be very interested in knowing that there are people within with us. Well. If you do that, you're going to highlight yourself. I am. Unfortunately, I'm running out of options. I can't trust any of the ravens here because they might be monitored. I can't find the courier that I can trust because I don't know of any. It takes three days at least to get there and back, regardless of what option I choose. I, d I don't know. I don't. I'm sorry. My mind is no. elsewhere right now. Uh, oh. I guess you're right. Oof, sorry. Oh. My goodness. Uh, Good. Can I help you? At least you're here. Uh, we ha I have something important to talk to your father about. I mean, you, um, Tazim about. Um. Yeah, he's a little out of right now. But, uh. Uh. Going in. You might want to hear this as well. Come on in then. Thank you. Hello, young lass. Did he leave? He went out to get some air. I believe he's not in a very good mood at the moment. No. Well, this isn't going to make it any better. <sighs> I feel like I should be taking another seat again. One moment. <clears throat> I'm getting too used to this. <sighs> it is good to see you both. Apologies for the sudden... Unannounced visitation. 
Well, I imagine there is a very good reason for that, so you have no need to apologize. Hmm. This... this... When I woke up in the grove... I mean, you, um, to me... It supports the grove, the older tree, just like in Adwick, if you remember, Kyla. Um... You don't mind me just saying your real name in here? Sure. Cher can be trusted. Trust me. Well, he's going to be have to be this only one I trust from now on because I heard a voice, one that I haven't ever heard before, something old. It said it's time to come home. Ian Dell's gone. What do you she's mean, gone. gone? Meaning something took her away. She's gone. She left. Imperials? She... Va no, she vanished within the older tree and was gone. Through magic. I don't, I don't, I don't know what else to describe it. It was so bright I could barely look at it. This voice... did not sound malevolent. It was as though a mother was beckoning her child home. We do not know if this is permanent, but for the time being, the Dryad is gone. no longer within Sabine. For all we know, she might not even be in Gradia. She might be in another continent, another country, who knows where. What about okay. Lisa? She's We're dead, going to get to that. Course. Okay. Has Tang been by? No, not today. Then I will be the one to ask you. Speak of the devil. Mm. Uh, I don't want to Oh, if you think that's definitely Tang, go ahead and let him in. I'm sitting down. <laughs> I got my hood up. I'm down. Excuse me. I don't need right. to see me outside. Oh. Anyways, um, of course I was crying, me and her both were crying because we thought she was taken away forcefully, but, well, uh, then Galdrick appeared. Yeah, double whammies in the morning, yeah, I know, <laughs> just what I needed. That's that name you mentioned before. We only just yes, the, the one that knows about the older she things. Even knows old things about the Eastern Dwarves, the uh -huh. olden Eastern Wood Elves, for that matter. <clears throat> These know a lot, they can only give so much information depending on what we ask per day in the book, but this time he actually appeared, I don't know, a physical form, but he looked like he was physical. If I may interject. I'm not even going to pretend to understand what's going on here at the moment. A lot of what you're saying is hard to all... comprehend, but I trust put... you. Let's... Let us let us put that all aside for a moment. Tang has mentioned, Sharik, that you and Lisa have history. Is this true? Mm. To be succinct and to be blunt, we do not know what the coming days will bring. We do not know if Ian Dale's disappearance is temporary or not. But if she is away, unless we can find some other way to sustain their home, it will no longer protect them from what is currently in the woods. It is my belief that an alternative arrangement for them, for their safety, is best. In such an event, your name has been mentioned. Would you be willing to shelter and take care of Lisa in the interim? Of course. Without question. I'll be fine because Good. Miss Ladia said I could stay with her when I was in town at one time. I'm pretty sure she doesn't mind if I stayed with her. All right. We You're more than welcome together. to stay with us, Lass. Any of you. If the need is required, you're more than welcome to stay. As I've said, you've got a home here. Mm. 
you would be so closer to Lisa too. Still it's uh, connected up the top, so you could move between the places easily. Oh, okay. That might be oh, easier. What that bridge is for? Yeah, and uh, also this door leads out into the shared courtyard, so you could be close to each other. If it needs to be, I'll have my son. I'll have my son board with the other doorway. It may get a bit loud, but there is an extra room that is being used by my son. It has most of my armor, smithing materials at it. But if you need workspace, then I can make room if needs be. At the very least, that way I can keep you safe. You mentioned an upper walkway. Hmm. You wouldn't happen to have any sort of furnishings up there, would you? I would be most comfortable personally being able to see the sky if I might be so bold as the, to interject myself. The rooftops have chairs and a bed and a few other things up there. There is a... They have a few pillows. Hmm. There is a few resting areas up there, especially up there under hours as well. Hmm. well. Assuming it is acceptable, amenable with your master, your, um... Hmm. Father, as I understand it? Yeah. Assuming it is amenable with him. For just for the time being. <clears throat> yeah. Come up with a solution. He's a little, um. It's fine. Out of sorts right now. So I'm gonna say yes on his behalf for now. If there's an issue, I'll talk to him about it. Much appreciated. Right. And just, and just remember, Kira, they're not related to anything like that, okay? Yeah. I gathered as much. Yeah, okay. I just know I can trust you. You're the only one that's left. I gotta wait for some. I gotta wait for some answers tomorrow. Hopefully, I can get some more questions answered by Goldrick on what I can do. Because th there's only a, a, a slim chance of hunch that I'm gonna explore that might help. You focus on that, and if there is anything you require, you let me know. Just know that that means there's no more life blooms. There's no more second chances this time. I don't know what these things are, but I'm assuming they're important regardless. I told you the day I gave you that medallion. That if you need us, we're here for you. So, I've got a friend in the Dawe. We will repay our debts in kind. Yeah, you yeah. and your kin are welcome with us. I'll make sure I'll go through her belongings. I haven't... I gave it back to her, so it's probably in her belongings. I'll have to check in her home. And I'll have to see how much silver she had left. Anything else that might be of use? By now, I'm just trying to keep it. And also, that thing we talked about... That means we're down one alchemist. That means we only have one to do the research that we require. <laughs> so, hmm. we'll just have to rely on Elena as far as hoping that she can come up with something with what we gave her. Uh, to help in the... Risa predicament. Yeah. Sitting for a moment. Realize we've unloaded quite a lot on you two. How are you both found? But, but I'll be honest, I've been rolling with the punches for the past few days and they only get worse. So, this is no... While it is an extra weight to bear upon the ones that I'm already carrying, it is something that I am unfortunately used to handling. 
I... I wouldn't have made a very good clan leader if I'd been unprepared. But for you, lad, this is something that you'll have to learn to handle, even without your lad here, your father. Sometimes the news you get is just that dire. We do what we can with what we have. I can still make some potions and I'll work with... Who knows? Elena's grown a fondness for me. Maybe she can teach me a thing or two. Having you close by would be good, I think. Having you nearby allows us to keep everyone safe and protected. We can't protect you out there when you're on your own. Mm -hmm. I have to keep it low key. If you require any extra, if you require any extra assistance, my kin are at your disposal. If you require them, as I said, so long as you have that medallion, they will listen. Ah, oh, all right. And I don't know if. Yesterday, when I was in town, um, the elven diplomat was walking through town. Mm. He felt sh strange. He looked at me like he knew what I was. I'd avoid him. He means anything. Mirren's tingles were all over the place when he saw so him. He does have something. There's something about him. Yes. He has some kind of some kind of gift. Be very careful. Okay. Right. That's... Okay. I'm going to head out into the town and see if I can track down Ellen Lisa. Okay. Thank you again. Okay. Um, after I'm done here, I'll go seek out Ellen. Ellen. Right. Not bad. I will be around town otherwise, should you need me. How are you, Faye? How should I be? I don't know. God, I just lost another mother. Not really lost, just gone. There's hope, though. I still have Goldrick. At least he gave me some comfort and some reasoning to look into. Don't say yourself you sure have either. Ken. You have Ken here, Ross. One sat right next to me. I know. But if You're not on your cannot own. Survive, if the grove cannot survive, I must prepare. My husband will truly die then. He will be gone. Be gone forever. No, I say gone forever. <laughs> just return to the wood. Just like every time. <sighs> there is something, Kyler, that Goldrick mentioned. He said something about elder things will begin slowly awakening as time goes on. The things that once were in slumber will awaken once again and look for the ones that they seek out. I don't know what that means. It could be anything. It could be maybe something dwarven, something elven, something drow, who knows? Something from the old errors. I think our world is slowly just being turned on its head. We'll be ready for it. 
I just worry about you and your father when y'all go to Gwen. What y'all might run into there. Well, I know can... eventually y'all will leave and y'all will. <laughs> yeah. We can only prepare so much, but we're doing our best. <clears throat> I promise you. Before you leave, Kyler, with your father, I will have something for you that hopefully will aid you when you reach the Eastern Kingdoms. You've already given us so much, Faye. You don't owe us anything. No, but I'm looking at possibly a new lord one day and a new lord's going to need some <sighs> something he can turn to for knowledge when he needs it yeah i'd probably need it honestly <laughs> <laughs> well it's a slow process but hopefully i will have it finished before you do eventually leave mm. thank you Faye. But, I mean, what can see, because we're together today to help Miss Lottie, and she's... Headaches. <clears throat> Have you seen Raven today? No, I think this is one of the days that she stays in the ocean. Okay. Alright, then she's still, still searching. Okay. Okay, well then I will go... See if I can find... Um, see if... I can help her with anything. And maybe see if she got paid from um, whoever she had that commission that we had to make all those basic healing potions for. We made quite a lot in a short amount of time. Let me know if you need anything, okay? I will. I just know that I'm going to have to start... Um, we're going to have to start stocking up on a lot of healing potions, that's for sure. Especially without... Unfortunately, Lass, I'm not in a position where I was before. If needs be, you can access our stores if you need somewhere to store your mm. items until such times as you find somewhere more appropriate. The storehouse is just under on the right hand side of where I've taken you to my office. Sliding doors there. Simply speak to one of my kin and let them know that you're wanting to store things inside until such times as you've gotten yourself squared away. You're more than welcome to stay with us or the other arrangements you may already have. I want to make sure that you're taken care of just like you helped us. You saved many of my dowie. Not I think a single it might be one of them would turn you away. Hot mic game. Thank you, sorry. Thank you. Appreciate it. If you need an ear to listen, Lass, you know where to find me. I'm not going to be that far away. I definitely will as soon as I, um, <sighs> sort your <of> things. <sighs> There's definitely some things I do want to share with you about your kin of the Eastern Kingdoms that I learned from him. You might find fascinating. Well, in regards to that, I think he and I might want to have a discussion about that in private. But, um, That's you would want to protect. There's more to it than that. It's, it's not something I'm comfortable talking about at the moment. 
with everything that's going on, every... <sighs> I'll do our best to keep you safe, lass. You and your kin. Never. Take care of us. You as well. Doesn't get How are you easier. handling this, lad? As best I can. <laughs> <laughs> I just... <laughs> Unfortunately for us, compared to the Yungi, it's only going to get more difficult. We live for far longer than they. Thus, we end up dealing with a lot more than they do. <laughs> I'm fortunate, I guess. I don't live quite as long as you... Elgi, or Doom Elgi in this case, but I've lived plenty to know what I'm talking about, lad. News like this never gets easier. Never. Now I have to add that onto the whole... Your father is going to throw a fit. Mm -hmm. Try and keep him away from the expensive furniture. Please don't agitate Try. him anymore. And he already is. That's what I'm saying. Try and keep him away from the expensive furniture. <sighs> yep. I'm not intending to tell him it's not my place, lad. You tell him when you believe the time is best. Best to hear it from family. I don't think he'd object to uh, housing our friends. I just think I his don't either. mind is just elsewhere right now. Got a lot on his plate. He certainly seemed to be occupied. I have been meaning to talk to you about something. Um. <clears throat> Did you have any acquaintance with the mercenary dressed all in black? Uh, I'm trying to remember. I feel like I've seen seen them about, but uh, I'm not sure exactly <clears throat> who they are. And you've spoken to them before, but I'm not sure. There's a few mercs who if dress you are in black. An acquaintance. <sighs> there was one that got involved with the scuffle we had with that Dowie, Silver Vane. Both of them were wearing black. One was Rin, the other was Aegon. Hmm. Well. They were the ones that got involved with my man, but that's not the one I'm on about. Mm -hmm. It's a woman. Woman in black got involved. And now Silverfiend's hunting them. Thought I'd let you know I'd be, in, be aware as much as possible. I don't intend to... 
hunt them down like he is. He wishes to right whatever wrong he has with them. My interest isn't with the woman. Whatever scores they have between them, but he has tasked her, my dowie, with keeping an eye out for them. I'll simply say that we can't find them. But, Short, uh, black cloak, cape. I couldn't say. All I know is that they were hooded and in black. Mm. They were at the site when we dealt with Silvervane. I think they took something from him. They asked me if they could search him for something. I'd assumed that the Dowie had stolen something from him. That, uh, <clears throat> she was looking for some sort of evidence. I don't really know. Either right. way, I let her do as she wished. But, uh, and Silver Bane's looking for her? Aye. And he's very upset. Alright, I'll... Uh... <sighs> something about Silver being taken or something. I don't really know. I think it was ten silver, but I'm not sure. I'll put the word out, I suppose. Thanks for letting me know. Just try to keep it discreet, lad. If Silverveen picks up on it, he'll probably have both their heads. But uh if you spot them, I think they were a mercenary, I believe we saw them at the guild when we did yeah. in after Silvervein. If you see them, just Warn them to lay low, yeah. Watch their back. Understood. Aside from that, though, uh, aside from that, uh, unfortunately, I have no good news. Going to have to figure out what to do from here. With the lass and all that now needing to find a place to stay, this is. Yeah. I might not be able to leave now. Especially with that thing being out and about, apparently targeting everyone involved. Yeah. Easier to try and handle it. Oh. Regardless, I'll free you from my clutches, lad, and let you get back to work. I am going to go to my study and deal with this. Let me know if you need anything. <sighs> All right, chat, I need to uh, step away for one second. I'll be right back.
Ok. That's what it does. Cl look at these. It does these. It does this. Uh, you tan. Just leave those. He just gets red. And then mm. You gotta get a nice tan so like Sharif. So you just have skin cancer. He's all about the tan. What? What's cancer? I don't know. It's uh, uh, something involving hey. crack. I don't know. Now you got the knife. Uh, oh, shit! Cool. You're doing something right now? Mm, nothing of immediate attention. Okay, I have some glass for you to shave down. Do you think that is possible? Some glass? Wait, you put that away, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, here, come here, come here. <laughs> You're I gonna have to I redo plan. it. Okay. 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 So here, I oh, have a plan no. in my brain. No, no, no. I I, I thought doing? of it, right? Okay. You have this thing, and I have <clears throat> broken glass. So if you just shave off by going to the side of it, it'll sound horrible, right? And you just go until you just get the discs of the bottom. Do you see what I'm going for here? What do you want them for? Well, my spectacles are missing the spectacles part. So I figured if I just put glass where the spectacle part should be, then it, 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 it can work and I can, you know, learn how to write better and all that. You understand by doing that, I would scratch the ever-living shit out of those, right? You wouldn't be able to see through them. No, no, you just need to get the edges of it and flatten the edges. The edges, they can be scratched to shit. The centers are the important part, you know? Oh, you want me to shape it? 
That's more of a Raylan thing. I'm a blacksmith, not a glass blower, but she works on jewelry. I think she could definitely do that for you. Okay. I don't want to take away from her and job. I can ask her. She'll be around tomorrow. Yeah. Cool. Is it cool if I just leave the glass here? No. Yeah, sure. Leave <laughs> them there. It's okay. fine. It's fine. Oh, leave yeah. them there. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you, you still Thank have yet you. to tell me where you, you broke that bottle, so we know not to walk there. Have you guys seen Sarah? I didn't break around? anything on you. Oh? No, not yeah. myself. Uh -huh. I'm talking about. I mean, like, where did you break it so I know not to walk there if I'm running Oh, no, I didn't break those. I didn't guys. break those. They're just broken. It's um, fine. Shut up. Okay. Uh, Sarah, I have not seen since a while, so I have no idea where she is now. Okay. Yeah, Um. I will let Raylan know when I see her tomorrow if you don't already get to her before I do. Yeah? Thank you. All I right. appreciate that. Stay safe, you two. Fucking Markiplier. How did they even get up there? Nope. The Loki somehow got all the way on top of the the overhang up there. I don't know how to get them down. Who? Oh, it's the orange calico cat. Um, I've kind of uh, I don't want to say pressured. I kind of adopted them, so I have been feeding them, and now they're causing shenanigans. You want me to get it down? Uh, well, I don't even know if it's still up there. I don't see them anymore. Oh, there they are. They're down already. Yeah. Hmm. Meow. Yeah. Meow? <laughs> meow. <laughs> you meow? <laughs> oh, you are so right. You got a funny one. I do not like green salam. Do I get a handful or do I get a. How, how, how do I do this? One unit. One, okay. Got a second? Hello? Mm hmm. Did you take money from Mr. Silvervane? Yes. 
okay, he's mad and he's looking for a black cloaked female working in the mercenary guild, just so you're aware. What a fucking loser. I'm gonna kill him, <clears throat> I think. You're gonna kill him? Hmm. Uh, that would make my job easier. I mean, I'm not opposed to it. He's already been denounced from his own people. I don't think anyone would care if he went missing. Probably has powerful connections, though. <clears throat> Look, I just need him out of his room. Probably tonight. Are you asking for my help? Uh, no, I'm just telling you my plans so we don't accidentally, you know, foil each other's plans. Mm. My current plan <clears throat> is well. to have my friend go in there and be like, hey, can I speak to him? Hey, I, I, I heard that this black cloak female is off somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. Maybe if you could go deal with her, and then once he leaves, I'll fucking, you know. Maybe I won't kill him then. They'll think it's you. Yeah. Mm. Or if I see him leave, Thanks I'm just for the heads up. sneak in there. Yeah, I figured I'd let you know in case you stumble mm. across him. Luckily, I won't need to dress like that today because there's no work, so mm. thanks for letting me know. Of course. God, I wish the sun would go down. I want to make money. <laughs> money. Money. <sighs> oh man, and I was just about to buy some salam. Oh well. Oh, they were just there. Ah, it's it's okay. They're gone. As you should. Okay. Also, I'm looking for that last silver to get half of the money, but I don't think I'll have it today, unfortunately. That's okay, there's no rush. <clears throat> well, depends whether or not they want to go after the troll. Uh, I prefer to have a weapon when I go after it, but if not, uh, then uh, let's see. Well, I hope they don't attack it. You could like hire a, a weapon or rent a weapon. Do you have one? If not, then uh, today, unfortunately. Here we fuck you. Uh, no, I don't, unfortunately. What the fuck? I don't think the Merc's Guild would rent out an axe to someone who's going to fight a troll. That just doesn't sound like a good business venture. I hate this fucking thing. Have you tried turning it off and back on? Alright, fine. Maybe I won't help you. <laughs> I don't know, it's just really bad today. Now what RP tips over water trough? That's oil. You know what? I don't care that you broke your elbow. Why would you say that to me? Yeah. I haven't even broken my elbow, that was someone else. Well, if you did break okay, your elbow, there, I, I wouldn't so care if you if you broke it. You're a monster. To kill monsters, you have to become a monster, Sif. What the fuck? Oh my god, I forgot I put Vaseline on the anvil. 
Look at this shit. Why this would you is... put Vaseline on the anvil? I was limbering it up for the next time Marcus wants to fall on it. Oh, I see. <laughs> Back you go. So that way he slides right down the horn, right? Yeah, it shouldn't hurt as much. You say that? I don't think that's true. Well, have you ever tried to sit on an anvil? I think that would... Uh, no. I can't say I have. Not well, like Marcus can. There you go. No, no one can sit on it like Marcus can. That man has a talent. Uh, to you as well. That's Thank completely you. fair. <sighs> can you hand me that left-handed yeah. screwdriver, please? Uh, sure. Only if you get me the long stand first. Yeah, it should be next to the headlight fluid. Oh. Hmm. I think Candace put it there. Who's Steve Jobs? I don't know. Ligma balls. There's more to life than hitting something with an anvil. Hitting an anvil with something. Anviling something with a hit. <clears throat> Do I need to call Soma? Are you having a stroke? No, but I am a little worried I brained my damage. Bonds nuns having a stroke called a bondulence. Called a bondulence, yes. You know, they told me that we weren't going to hunt the troll, uh -huh. and then we were going out to hunt a boar, and Lorelai told me, actually, our luck might be turning around, we can hunt the troll now. And so now I'm sitting here waiting around for them to hunt the troll, but then Raven walks past me and doesn't even say anything, and he's no longer with the party, so I don't know if they're hunting the troll anymore. I assume not, because otherwise I would have been told. I just spoke like, to Sarah and she said there's there's no like tasks going today, there's no work. Thank you. Thank you. Not you Peahans. Doctor. It's Doctor Peahans? How disrespectful, Ellen. Wait, you're L, not Ellen. Look, I'm not saying that you both look the same, but... Oh no, you... Disrespect. <laughs> I've cast Vicious Mockery. That's a 13. You feel very offended. How dare you, Stiff? As much time as we spend together, right. you and I spend more time together than you and Alan <laughs> Rolling psychic damage. With an 11. That's, that, that, that does some psychic damage. To who? To me or to her? Ah, my fucking brain. To, to, to Sharik. Ow! Why? <laughs> what the fuck? What was that for? I'm not even involved in this stupid Sorry. pissing match. If there was a pissing match, I would be involved. Well, Trust me. Dr. Pisshands? I would be involved if there was a pissing match, I assure you. You'd be all hands in. Matched with... <laughs> I guess you could say match whenever, points. How does Sharik respond? Whenever a pissing match Your happens, mother. Sharik is all hands on deck. Rolling. Uh. Cast vicious okay, mockery. To... Your mum. With a six. <laughs> Elle remembers that she doesn't have a mother. Uh, uh. <laughs> I don't know if that's a success or a failure. Got you. <laughs> I'm speed forging. I need to get this done. What are you working on? I can't tell you. Hmm. 
Mm. It's the secret. A secret, huh? A secret. Is it a lock? Who told you? A Gregor lock. Gregor. Oh, you shut the fuck out. What the fuck? Get Who out, you drunkard. Who the fuck are you? You. Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? Listen here, listen here, listen here. I'm trespassing! No. Trespassing! Trespasser! Gods! 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 What do you want, drunkard? I just want to say hi. God. I miss when you had one eye. No, it's hi, how are you, not how high are you? Welcome to Nautilus, how high are you? Twelve. Yes. Yeah, yes. What? Hey, Shriek, I got something for you. I got got. I got got. Got him. I can't believe you would do this to me. I'm only <sighs> using 5% of my power. <laughs> ah! Ow. Ow. Oh, I got God. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that song's come out yet. <laughs> no, no, I heard a bard playing it the other week. It was great. Did you? Yeah. yeah. What did, what's it called then? What's it called? Kick. It, it's, um, uh, 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 DM, I'd like to roll insight. Seventeen. It's called your mother. Rolling psychic damage. Natural twenty. I'm protecting from magic. <laughs> Counter spell. <laughs> <laughs> Did you RuneScape die? Damn, should've used Protego. <laughs> Tracking. Why are two DMs watching me forge? <laughs> Where did he go? <laughs> did you RuneScape die? I can't believe- <laughs> Yeah, I did. I straight up planked. Fuck you, I'm going to Coracardus. <laughs> Technically, that's your home teleport, so you just go in there. Fuck. <laughs> I need the, uh, the, I need to, I need to, I need, I need, I need you to help me grind. Okay. If, if you just want to rotate that wheel, I can just sit down on this log. I don't want to have to steal your seat. Sure. No, no, the other way, you fucking idiot. Oh. Turn it, no. Please turn it so it's facing me. Oh, I see. <sighs> oh, I, I got you, I got you, homie. <laughs> <laughs> Sparks of <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking angle grinder, this bitch. Oh, we need to we, we need to fucking stop. <laughs> Remember that time that the the wheel was so loud, everyone in the town could hear it. Remember that? 
I I remember that. Yeah, that was funny. I'm gonna unmute in Discord and do the same thing. <laughs> Just people like in conversations. Me. <laughs> Magic plot, magic plot. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Kyler, on today's episode of Jackass. <laughs> I can't fucking breathe. God, I'd like her roll to spin this so fast it becomes an angle grinder. Four. What are you guys doing? Fuck. Go on, faster. I'm spinning it the wrong way, Kyler. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, so fuck. <laughs> you spin it so fast that the uh, casing comes loose and the stone <laughs> is free. Forge stone, forge stone, let it rip. What the fuck? The fuck? I hate to say it, but this is on your hmm? own dumb stupidity. I, Why I'm did not it... helping you buy that. Sif! Help me put it back. What? Okay. I'm trying to... Lift it, but I... Here, let me help you. <laughs> no! <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Put it back. It didn't count, so if you didn't say from behind. <laughs> oh, fuck, you're right. From behind, now that I'm in front of you. I'll give you a from behind. The forge fumes are fucking getting to me. Yes, they are. <laughs> now oh, put no. put the casing <laughs> back on it so we can keep working. Sure, sure. Yeah, sure. Put the casing Look on it. Yeah, yeah. Look at me. Ow, ow. Snap out of it. There is you no casing it back to this. Into, you can just, you you can just set it back into it. You've been doing it again. <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> Better not. Whetstone mounted and loaded! <laughs> I fucking hate both of you, goddammit. <clears throat> oh, fuck. I... <laughs> I almost fucking recovered. <sighs> Why am I sure glad that we're here doing this and not out there doing that? A minute, where's the magic plot? <laughs> and that, and that we're out there fighting the troll and that he's the sheriff. <laughs> and that we're frozen it, I just remembered we're out here. What I want to know is, where's Tazim? <laughs> I want to know that too, Steph. I want to know that too. <laughs> I'm really trying here. <laughs> All right. You paint your nails. Yeah, see? Oh, that's amazing. Wow. Hmm. Either that or I'm just smashing them in logs all the time so they're purple. They're just constantly bruised. You don't actually grow your nails, they just fall off and, and come back. Exactly. That's how you clip your nails, is you just smash it so hard that it falls off and regrows. Have you ever... Have you ever actually lost a, 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 a fingernail, Sif? 
I've gotten actually really close. I was putting logs on a trailer and I forgot to let go of one of the logs and went <laughs> with uh, this, 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 this finger. Yeah. But it, it turned all the way black, but it didn't like fall off. There's like this little shred of flesh holding it on. So I could lift it up and like spray water underneath and clean it out. It felt super weird. But no, I never actually lost it. I had uh, my this one slammed in a uh, in a door, <laughs> in the bit with the, the the hinge side of the door, and it straight. One up. second, let me just do some magic quick. So if I come back, are you just going to insult me? I didn't insult you. I was being nice. Man, what are you talking about? What do you mean? You're the one insulting us. Yeah. I didn't insult besides, anyone. besides, we're sitting here grinding on something peacefully and definitely not being shitters. Anyway, anyway, remember Shriek, what I said it. earlier about walking uh, with me? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, it slammed in the door, and like three days later, it just straight up <laughs> fell off. And it was fucking painful. Do you know how sensitive it is under the under there? You're not guarding me, you're yes, I do. That's the difference. Yeah, it, it. I also. Yeah. Washed it with water, and it was fucking weird. Yeah. Kind of wish I kept it, but mm -hmm. I don't know where it went. Mm -hmm. you know? The sound of heavy chain and plates comes from down the alleyway, heading to the center road. Mm. Who's that? You caught a glimpse of it, Sif. Golden armor. Golden Very armor? Nice. For Imperials? Mm -hmm. Hey, what's going on, Guardsman? Uh, what is, uh... You see them coming down the main road now. What is your question? What's going on? Oh. I'm headed this way. Oh, the, uh... I think. The Baroness is in town. You just stopped by, uh... The seamstress. Alright, the oh. Baroness oh. herself. Uh-huh. Oh. You can That's see same. she has a... Guard. So that's more of like the Royal Guard then? Mm-hmm. Huh. Tyler, rolling. Mm. That's not normal. With a 16, Kyler, it's almost imperceptible. It's very, very slight. But L L Lisa's left hand is trembling. It seems almost involuntary. I'm going to go put on over here. No thinking of doing anything stupid. Even from here, you can see the, that the woman who's there is wearing very expensive looking silk. Though it is worn, the clothing and garb is very ornamental. Hmm. Well, anyone wanting to lay low might want to skedaddle. Look. So, so yes. No. Safe. Don't do anything stupid. She's smarter than that. Hmm? What? Hmm. 
Thought I heard something. I think I could take one of those shields on. Uh, one of them, maybe, but strength in numbers. Well, yeah, and I don't have my trained weapon, or I... <laughs> Not saying I would, I just said it'd be fun to. God! <laughs> no, no, stop! <laughs> From across town. Watch out, watch out. <clears throat> Something tells me you're probably not hunting a troll today. Uh, I don't know. Well, maybe I'll go out to the Sodillo mercenary camp, if that's what it is, and see if they need help with the orcs. Maybe I can get a silver from them. We could ask the Baroness. Hmm. They probably don't like me very much. Yeah, I'm not I... exactly on best terms with the guards. Don't give me nefarious ideas. That's actually quite smart. Talking up to her and being like, "Ma'am, there's a troll out there. Now there's I a... can help you for a small cost of ten silver." There's a troll in the dungeon. Um, Does anybody see Morden? Yes. Not for a while. He said he was going to his uh, study last I saw. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't see the silver. I'm still going about. Nope. I was following that creepy dwarf around. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. Creepy dwarf? I called him, uh, I think, Robin? Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully he's not assembling some some sort of team or something. Suicide squad. What are we, some kind of suicide squad? What the fuck was that? What the fuck? You barely adopted the deck. What? <clears throat> it was like what? A gray. I don't know. Never mind. What? What the fuck? What the fuck? <clears throat> what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? I definitely didn't break into your house. I will f fucking... Don't you. Snatch your scrotum. Default dance on you. Whoa. Oh shit, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> Let me know if they start coming this way. You know, if they spent some of that money on the town rather than the guard's armor, perhaps the town would be better off. <laughs> Stop! Uh, How can I help you? Excuse me. Um, well, um, I have something for uh, Miss Raylan, I think. Mm. Uh, yeah, go ahead and leave her there. She's out of town for now. Um, okay. What is it? 
Just uh, a few days ago, uh, I was told to mm. see her in regards to making trinkets and whatnot. So, uh, made something to see if she could look over herself and think it's worth anything. Maybe she'll take me on. Um, you could leave it there uh, for her, or come back tomorrow, mm. and uh, she'll be around. Then you can actually talk to her about it. I suppose I, I could do that if I... Mm. I'll be right back. <clears throat> well, they're not coming this way, so that's good. I'm glad they're out there. I hope it's of... I hope it's of good and quality. In here. I'll let her know you came by, at least. That way she can seek you out. Uh, if that's... Uh, I'll hold on to it then. Um, yeah, sure. She may not remember, uh, I know she had trouble with my name, uh, Matthias, but, uh, I'll hold on to it. Yeah, I'll just say the, the guy who was making you things swung by. <clears throat> uh, not making her, but talk to her about working with her. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. I get you. Get off me! And here comes the giant fist. Shriek looks really you know damn I'm gonna go find the hunters and see if we're doing fucking anything today, and if we're not, I'll be back. Okie dokie, artichoke. <laughs> Slaps down this sick riff, and you, you hammer away at the iron on the anvil and apply a file to grind it down. Your mind drifts back to before. As you grind harder and harder on this, you remember something from before, something that you heard in Adwick. It was. Oh, that's right. Well, Dorst used to always say Adwick grind set. You never were really sure what he was talking about. Hmm. Apparently the hunch hasn't come yet, which I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but I guess no hunt today. So I've gone from hunt to no hunt to <clears throat> hunt to no hunt. Hunt or hunch? Hunching? I'm, I'm hunching. I'm just happy turning this mindset into a grind set, I'll be honest. What's that supposed to mean? It means I'm grinding this down. You mean like angle grind set? I'm thinking in my head about what I want to do here and I'm grinding it. Okay. 
Do you need the grinder again? Sif, you don't understand. You gotta turn that mindset into a grind set, brother. Sister. I don't know what that <laughs> I don't know what that means, Kyler. You gotta get off your butt and you gotta manif you can't just sit around wanting things to happen. You gotta be the one to go out and get them. Turn that mindset into a grind set. Okay, I'm going to find the troll. There you go, Sif. I've done something terrible. <laughs> I don't want him to. Sif, please don't die. No, stop. No, girl, don't kill yourself. You're so hot. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> Is that good? That I've been practicing. That was pretty good, yeah. Yes. No, Sif, we're still friends. It's just the way that you went off and killed a troll without telling anyone kind of threw me off. Girl, I'm still into you. Just the way you had a mental breakdown over spilling a cup of milk and cried for three hours straight really scared me. Are you okay? No. <laughs> you know how expensive milk is? Yeah. Yeah. Drink soy. It's better for you. Ew. Don't tell me you drink full I cream. I drink whole milk. Straight from the cow's titty. The reason why my boobs are so big is because I live off of McDonald's chicken nuggets and whole milk. It's a lot of whole moons. You have no idea. And preservatives too, now that I think about it. A lot of emotion. I'm a GMO. A walking GMO. <laughs> Health talks with Drow. I'm gonna fucking do a bit of this. Eight plus eight is sixteen, isn't it? Eight and eight is oh no, not a hundred and two silver. Well, <laughs> that's yeah. a lot of silver. <laughs> I'm that's sure it's fine. Oh, damn, he's not here anymore. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Straight, really. Just call me Wall Street, because I'm about to ruin this fucking economy. Oh, fuck. Raven, are you hunting a troll or not? Oh, he's back. Oh, she's back. Thank God. We will be. We're gathering people right now for that right now. Do you have, have any fun? metal bars that need, like, the straight up flattened? <laughs> what? Like, who the like, fuck starts a, a conversation a like metal. that? Listen, they said we're hunting the troll, and then we said we're not hunting the troll. Then we said we are hunting the troll. Then we said we're not hunting the troll. And now we are hunting the troll. I'm tired. In the north, it's we're hunting the troll, and we go. <laughs> <laughs> These... <laughs> go. Watch, they're not gonna be able to find this man called Chillbrook, and then they're gonna come back to me and be like, Oh, we're not hunting the troll, that's tomorrow, and I'm going to fucking put my axe into their skull. What? <sighs> uh, I don't know. Anna. <laughs> I'm I'm trying really hard to pay for this thing in my fucking head, but my it's not letting me, so I'm just gonna fucking not pay for it. There we go. I'll just keep the silver. Fuck it. <laughs> Get pranked, idiot. Oh no, he's abusing the economy. It was all counterfeit anyway. Blah 
more, 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 more. Can the sun please go down? I want it to go down. Down. It's my fucking fucking sh I'll be right back. Sun down. Please. Please work. It's just it's as soon as I press the button. As soon as I press the button, I don't know what to do. Fucking. It's you. food but if I get whoa that was the shirt uh, <laughs> oh actually uh have you talked to them yet about uh what you need you're having a good day I'm going to go on an adventure uh, yay you killing ah. a <laughs> troll as well a training post for the north <laughs> oh you're no I'm not doing the troll thing I'm going to delivery I thing I think that's that what I am doing Wait, what? Do they need a guard? What are you doing, Mr. Shriek? No. Technically, I am a guard, but if you want to offer, you can. I don't this? even think I'm getting paid. Company. I just wanted to come along for a ride. So, like... Is it with the, um, Sawtooth Trading Company? Mmm, it's with Vaz. And, uh, Latia is buying flour, so I don't think so. No, they were going north. Yeah, no thanks. Go have fun. <laughs> okay. I'll have fun. I'll keep you updated. I'll let you know if another cat wanders and leads us to a another troll. Yes, be safe. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Shriek, how are you? What a loaded question. <laughs> <laughs> how is that loaded? Seeing some shit. <laughs> They don't trade with non-merchants, uh, I believe. Fair enough. Warning, evening. <laughs> you ever seen a troll? Something that catches your fancy, I can buy it for you, probably. What are you saying to me? Something I, I, I asked for. Yeah, I, I ran from one. What'd you fucking say to me? How we... I, I said if you've seen a troll. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Believe this shit? You didn't- you couldn't see from there? No, they couldn't- they couldn't see the troll oh. ghost. Can you hand oh, these to Sarah, spooky. please? Sure. Fuck yeah. One day they'll appear there. Oh! You fuck. You couldn't even fucking do that. Are you sh? <laughs> Listen, it was in my. It wasn't. <laughs> I've been armed with the most dangerous weapon known to the Underdark. 
a nipple grabber. <laughs> I've always found the most dangerous weapon one can wield is wit. Yeah, and I thought, and I, when, and, yeah, me too. <laughs> 